Welcome to the Cradle of Sin's Early Access Tutorial. Here one of our minions will be going over the game objective, some mechanics, and other valuable knowledge you need on the battlefield. Let's start with the base. There are four three active item shops, three potion spiders, and two weapon upgrade shops. Let's start with the infamous potion spider. So on the left and right, there are eight different potions, which can be added directly to your passive item slots over there. But if you want to mix different potions together, you should add them in the cauldron. Or if you're not happy, then throw them in this bin on the right. Recipes can be seen here. Let's mix something up. All mix guides show up over there. Your turret needs attention. So here you can see Nils ignored the boosts that it gave him. This is our base. Minions spawn from these holes, and this is our nexus. Now he's pointing to the two main lanes which lead to enemy towers, and also entrances to the jungle. There are retractable barricades all over the map. Okay, let's follow one of the main lanes. As you can see, this road leads us straight to the enemy nexus. Now you can see the use of the first ability pushing your hand forward while holding down the right trigger and releasing it in the end. Kyra brought up a defensive shield. Next we are using Kyra's ultimate with holding down the A button on the right controller and carefully releasing it onto the enemies. Before heading straight into the enemy nexus, we want to destroy these towers in the way. Make sure to let the minions take the aggression of the tower on themselves. As you can see, the tower is taking away Kyra's health quickly. Before you can head back to the fight, you need to wait for the timer to end. Kyra releasing the hammer again. Also, you can take the compass from your tool belt to head back home when you're safe. Purchase a new weapon by grabbing it with your left hand. Kyra unlocks a second ability with the next weapon. Same trigger mechanic, but now you need to raise the hand up and release. Also, you should see him shoot from the hammer with his right trigger. Grabbing a real quick income from the almost destroyed enemy tower crystals and smashing up some minions real quick. Make sure you wait for your minions to sacrifice themselves before you take the tower head on. Third weapon gives you the last ability. That is opposite of the second one, which means you need to move your hand downwards to release the trigger and activate the ability.
Now let's quickly mix some potions and head into the jungle. Let's try to take on this ogre. Every defeated jungle monster gives your team passive bonuses. Stronger minions, faster gold regeneration, etc. Quickly nil spawn this creature out of existence. Jungle creature health bar is this crystal. The whole map is full of intractable structures. As you can see, it's possible to make your already active potions even stronger, and the perks are displayed as well. Tourism. More potion creation. Could you keep a better eye on your turret? You don't have enough coins. Here, it's possible to buy items you can use on the field. You don't have enough coins. You can see the grenade appear as this molly vest. Let's go try this out. And you can see without aiming, you can't get very far. Let's purchase two turrets and head on to tighten our defenses. They're taking down your turret. Next up, let's find an interactive trap. Well, this minion's a pancake now. It's not possible to skip towers and head straight to the enemy nexus because it takes no damage. Well, that's it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.